Welcome back to the channel everyone and a new video. Got plenty of exciting stuff upcoming and I was just sitting here chatting to Chris. He's doing the bumper for the Astra and you can see he's put quite a lot of stuff back on. He kind of did that off camera from the last video. So he just had a good idea. He said, Rob, those videos are really popular. You know, a bit of everything. Try and get a bit of everything in there. So I've had a call from a car dealer. He's got a little cheap part X. We're going to go and get that today. I've bought it over the phone. We haven't even looked at it. And this Astra, Chris said we got a bit of rubber missing out of there. The radiator for this one was out of a diesel. Yeah, so big. it was too big. It was too wide. And no, we, and no temperature sensor. We thought we could get away of changing this pipe. So we need to go around to Kent Autos and do that. What other plans did you have? Um, oh, there's some... Uh, some, they would have seen that video by now. So the seats for the Mercedes, we need to get them sorted out. So it's going to be a bit of that today. <clears throat> we start off, Chris is just cleaning all that out inside. They're not coloured up from factory. They never colour them up. You get a little bit around these edges. But basically, you can see all that mud and you've just got a little Brillo sponge there. Just going around, knocking all the mud off it and blow it out. So when this gets painted, it don't contaminate the paint booth or get any muck in any of the paint. I did also just say to Chris, our car has got parking sensors and this bumper hasn't. But if you look, same as the Evoke, there you go, has a template ready to drill out on these bumpers, both sides. So Chris will get a hole saw and do that. And the other two actually go if I can get it to start the right way, in this little number plate plastic. So you've got one there and one down there, but we do need to order one of these up because it is quite rough. So, uh, aircon pipe, air pipe for the car. This is the one that we got off of the parts car and we'll take it over, match it up. I don't even need to get in there, guys. You can see it's, it's actually completely different to the one that's on there. So we need to go and get that swapped out as well. Let's crack straight on, go and get all these bits together. It's a little bit mix and match, but this one, is actually the correct pipe for it you can see that ends a lot smaller but the other pipe for it is right down the back here so i've actually got to take the headlight out to get to it you can really see the difference now and how thick that one is i've bought it back to how thin that one is there let's crack on and get that off we've got the battery box that i stupidly left in that parts car last time and the correct air con pipe so cup of coffee and back to the yard. I did try and get Andy here on camera. I said, I've, I always mention Kent Auto Salvage. I said, it'd be really nice to put a face to the name. Andy's the, one of the guys that works here and he went, no Rob, definitely not. Even though he watches the videos, he didn't want to be on camera. So let's get back to the yard. These are the other bits I've got guys, but I couldn't obviously show them. You've got that one there that goes on the front panel. That one there covers up the bonnet catch but all part of a support for that front bumper. Got the front bumper grill and the radiators. This is the correct one this time. And the thing that was different on it, let me just spin it up. On the end there, there's a little sensor that goes in there. And that radiator that we got was for a diesel and it was completely different. So fingers crossed now, we have got all of the bits for that car. Let's go in and see. There you go, guys. Not something we'd normally buy, but 150 pound little automatic no mot looks pretty tidy i've just driven it on the back of the truck it all seems to drive all right i've got the v5 with it i'll be honest it looked a lot nicer on the floor now i've got it up in the air i can see it's got a bit of rot around it sorry i'm standing in the road here there's all cars coming past all the tires look good on it Is it this side? No. Yeah, you can see a bit of surface rust there. And then the other side. It's got a hole in it under there. 
Let's get back to the yard, see what Chris thinks. You can't go wrong, though, for that money. It's got to be worth that in the scrap. Just pulled up. Let's have Chris on a wind-up and say it's actually for him. Chris! Be out in a minute. Guys, nice little automatic. All the tyres look good on it. I'll be honest with you, I did say to him, what's it like? And he said, Rob, I haven't been round it. I took it in part X. It is what it is. The this is your new car. That's right, mate. Automatic. This is your new company car. Oh, yeah, lovely. <laughs> but, no, nice and tidy, but got a little hole in that seal there. Is it bad? Yeah, you bend down, you'll see it. There's quite a bit of surface rust underneath there, to be honest. Their garage is probably um, on the sea, in the sea. No, it's a seaside car, isn't it? There's a cup of coffee for you in the cab, Chris Costa. Oh, good um, Not thanks to me. Thank you, Alan, actually. Sent us in the voucher. I really appreciate it. It's piles of paperwork with it. No, it'll have a cat on it. What year is it? X Reg, isn't it? Y Reg, yeah, it'll have a cat on it, mate. So, Chris is thinking now, before I even said it, exactly what I was saying earlier, guys. How much is the cat? Yeah, how much is the cat? Jack you know, Reeves, we'll work out what it's worth. It's got a little bit of an oil leak there and all. We'll work out what it's worth to actually repair, because that is only going to need a patch on it, and worse way. Yeah, we, if it's got a cat on it, like Jack might have it. It's got a little tiny battery on it, which is ideal for the Suzuki. Yeah. It's got four good tyres on it. You'd be able to use them. Well, I ain't even looked. Have a look. So, worst way, if we decide we're not going to weld that up... Oh, 104,000. It's done a few miles. Well, I've never seen one of them before, have you? Well, it's got no CD or tape player. It's just... A radio. USB. I suppose people don't really listen to CDs anymore. Guys, what should we do with it? Let us know in the comments section. I think Chris, judging by his face, has already made his mind up. We've got quite a lot of scrap to get rid of. They race though, don't they, the youngsters? Not automatics, I don't think. Manuals. We could cut the cat off, take the battery off, cut a hole in the roof and fill it up with metal. But I paid 150 quid for it. What's it's worth that, isn't it? You can take it's it to over 200 a ton, Oh, is it over 200 a ton? So there we go. Took a chance on it. If one of you's lot reach out and say you want to buy it as it is, we'll always take a profit, Chris, won't yeah, we? Yeah, so yeah. yeah, got all the logbook with it. Let's move on to the next job. It's out for half an hour then. Chris really has cracked on. He's drilled those holes, and you've put the parking sensors in without the rubber surrounds. So he, so he can paint them, and the reason that's black is because one of one of our coloured, coloured ones. ones was broken. So Chris has took the black one and put it in there so that it gets coloured, because the black ones are going to re be easy to replace. You can see that one there's coloured as well. And guys, it looks like all the rads are in the car. Aircon pipe all fit, Chris. Everything's all right. Yeah, uh, shrouds are too big. Oh, the fan. The fan shrouds, yeah. So that's off that diesel one too. Yeah, yeah. So I've got to go back round Ken. This is what happens all the time, guys. You end up going round there, and that's twice I've been round there today, but we will get to the bottom of it, and then hopefully we can get this one wrapped up and possibly get it off the jig. Mm -hmm. uh, tips and tricks, guys. I know all jokes aside, we was outside with a little micro. You guys always say, Rob, you know, what, what was the method in this? What was the method in that? And that little car, a lot of you are probably laughing, but that car dealer... I just bought that car. He said it's one fifty, Rob. I said, "Yeah, here's the money. I'll have it." Now I know that I wouldn't never buy it and want to lose money, but I know that it's worth that in scrap. So I bought that car off him, and then guess what? Next time he gets something comes in, I'll be his first port of call. We go, "Oh, I run Rob last time. I had a little cheapy," and he comes straight round and bought it. So that was that was the method in the madness. That's why I bought it. Right, I'll get back round Kent or those mate and get you a fan. This is the one that I've taken the radiators out of, guys. It is a 1.6 petrol, which is what ultimately what ours is. All of the others that are in here, I mean, there's another one there, that greeny colour. That's a, I think that's a petrol, but it's an automatic. And there's another one a little bit further down, that's automatic. And there's two more of these right up the end there. But I've just taken the fan out. There is the 1.6 petrol fan, and there's the diesel fan that I'm bringing back. 
and you can clearly see there this one's way too big so we'll leave this one here put it inside the car and hopefully if someone wants that when they come here they haven't got to take it off even all the nuts and bolts that i'll take out these cars i do throw them inside the car i know there's some all over the floor but it just saves it a little bit doesn't it so that's everything we need out of there there is one little sliding panel that goes in the battery box we need to find but this one hasn't got a battery box in it so i'll go through the car if i can't find it in here we'll find it on another one All back down, off of the jig, all plumbed up, everything's plumbed up. Well, I've just put water in it, just for now. Test that there's no leaks or anything like that before we go and put antifreeze in it. You know how expensive that is. I'm just going to give Chris an hand to lift the bonnet off, and then we can put that in the spray. But uh, No, actually, move, put that out of the way. He's going to spray the hinges and the inside edge of the wing, right? The shuts, so that the wing can go on before it goes around the paint shop. So... We'll get on and do that. really do hope that you are enjoying this little different video so a bit of the micro in there a bit of the astra and guess what as usual sitting here me and chris having a coffee the phone's rung the x fleet company got a couple of little vans so let's head straight over there and see if we can buy them as you know guys i cannot recall there so i had to unfortunately wait until i got back so they had this 60 2010 or 11 caddy i haven't even looked uh, got one side loading door, quite a basic van, and it was a choice of this and a Bolingo. But the Bolingo had done 200,000, and to be honest with you, it, there probably was a profit in it, but I just wasn't interested in it. This was quite expensive as well, but I know these Volkswagens do hold their money, and it looks like quite a nice, I don't know if that's new shape, is it, or a facelift shape. And when I got inside it, they said the same driver had actually been using it, and it was pretty much like his own personal vehicle. So as you can see, it's all quite nice. Let's jump up here actually, we do the inside first. So the mileage on this one, again, quite high, 180,000, but been very well looked after. And sounds lovely. Got a Bluetooth parrot in it, CD player, no air con. But yeah, sounds lovely. And bought it worth the money, I think. Let's have a little walk around it. I have actually made a couple of phone calls on this one, guys. And I'm going to try and trade it exactly as it is. I'm not even going to take it off the back of the truck. I did briefly drive it. And it does all seem to drive nice. It's all MOT'd. So yeah, this is pretty much a day... This is what happens to us all the time. We start one job and then the phone rings and another thing comes up. Actually, it looks like it's just had some new tyres put on it as well. So I'm going to leave it in this video. Let's go and see if we can actually get this one sold. I've rung three different people and one of them in particular is keen to see it ASAP. That looks quite nice. Maybe a bit of a wash on that and put that in my truck. My one's really wearing out. Got the bulkhead in it. Looks like actually that bit might come out, but yeah, quite nice and definitely been looked after. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I need to get, I need to get £3,000 for this van to have a day's money out of it for me and Chris. So do you think it was worth it? Let's go and see if we can get rid of it. I actually thought I was going to struggle with that one a little bit because of the mileage, but I did make a few calls, like I said, 
before I bought it and it's gone. And the good news is there might even be another one of them possibly coming. So this video is already getting quite long. If you do enjoy this sort of video, let me know and we'll do this again in the future. It's not gonna hurt to do it. And like I say, I'm always out and about picking things up and selling things, trading them on. Let's go in the workshop and I'll actually tell you what I paid for that and how much I sold it for. What a little adventure that's been over the last two days we've recorded this video and as soon as i got in while i've been gone chris has knocked that out he's, he's uh put the wing on there put the inches back on put the bonnet on that's now ready to go around the paint shop and the logbook arrived for it today and the logbook arrived for the little blue fiesta so really we need to get them both around the paint shop get them done and and then get them crunch the numbers and get them up for sale so that little van, there's no numbers to go through. I turned up there, he asked me 3,000 for it. I said, it's a bit rich, the mileage way too high. And I'm not, guys, you can't decorate it. I lowballed him. I said, I'd like to pay 2,000 pound for it. And he just come back to me and said, you won't be able to have it for 2,000 Rob, but how about we meet in the middle? So I slapped his hand, we bought it for two and a half thousand. It took me, how long have I been out picking that van up and then running it over two hours? Yeah, that's, that's two hours work. We just sold it for 3,000 quid, which gives me and Chris a pre-tax profit of 500 pound. And we're happy with that, aren't we? Because we ain't earned no money for the last two days. Because, no, well, this is earning money. Doing these jobs are earning us money, but I mean, earning money straight away. So we've earned a little 500 pound there. Don't quite know what we're going to do with the Nissan Micro. Chris has been throwing some ideas up in the air but you know i'm sure we'll think of something unless of course one of you guys reach out to us and really want that little car it didn't actually look that bad did it it's sealed is it one side or both sides Front on one side rear on the other side so it does want two little patches on it and yeah. i can't keep asking i mean i don't weld and chris is always doing the welding so he welded up the camper last week you've done the welding work on this and he's got the Eyelux to do. Yeah, and he just said, Rob, do not buy any more welding jobs. One of you subscribers offered me a lovely car and I was desperate to buy it. And Chris said, does it need welding? I said, yeah. And it just, it, we just couldn't buy it. Also, can I mention that something else has uh, arrived today? Well, and that's gonna be another video. That is gonna be another video, but I can say that there is another project to arrived today which uh, I actually got in this video and I had to cut it out. So guys, I'm not gonna waffle on any longer. Don't forget, like I said, if you do, did enjoy this little complete mix match video, I'm sure some of you are gonna be scratching your head halfway through. So I'll have to get Chris to think of a good title that does kind of explain what's going on. Don't forget, please like, subscribe and share. Check out the merch, the link is in the description and follow us on Instagram for some little sneak peeks at Selvage Rebuilds, and we'll see you later in the next one.